Amal purchases some pens at rupees 8 each to sell these. He hires an employee at a fixed wage. He sells 100 of these pens at rupees 12 each. The remaining pens are sold at rupees 11 each. Then he makes a net profit of rupees 300. While he makes a net loss of rupees 300, the remaining pens are sold at 9 each. Very nice. So 100 he sells at 12. Remaining he spends at 11. He makes 300. If he sells at 11, he loses. Sorry, if he sells at 9, he loses 300. Straight away, it's a super useful. If there's a swing of 2 rupees per pen, I go from plus 300 to minus 300. The difference between the amount of money I make is 600. At 2 rupees to the pen, instead of selling at 11, I sell at 9. Or I make 2 rupees per pen lesser in this. 2 rupees per pen lesser, 600 rupees swing, or the number of pens. equals 300. 300 into 2 is 600. I'm losing 2 rupees per pen and I end up making uh, a loss of uh, a swing of 600. From making a profit of 300, I go to loss of 300. So if I reduce the price by 2 rupees per pen, I lose 600 rupees or there are 300 pens. And the wage of employee in INR. So we have to come back to the employee cost. Amal purchases some pens at 8 each. He hires an employee at a fixed age. He sells 100 of these at 12. So let's do this. 100 pence at rupees 12 and 300 pence at rupees 11. So this is 1200. This is 3300. 4500 is the total amount of money he makes. This is a profit of 300. He makes 300 rupees. So his total cost. is 4500 minus 300 which is 4200 in selling 400 pence but he buys them at rupees 8 each 400 into 8 is rupees 3200 so his total cost of purchase is 3200 but his total landed cost is 4200 or it has cost him 1000 bucks to sell cost of production plus cost of selling is the total cost cost of production or cost of making or cost of purchase is 3200 but he's Total cost is 4200 or the missing 1000 bucks is the wage of the employee. It cost him 1000 rupees for the act of selling this.